Hey guys, welcome back. Amy Jo here. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas for those of you that celebrate it. And I am looking forward to making this video with you today. I'm going to be using the breakfast time set to make some Play-Doh breakfast foods and some Shopkins inspired characters. Are you guys ready to have some fun? I hope so. Okay, so here are some of the tools that we'll be using. This is the press that you use to make bacon and eggs. And then there's onion, cheese, and mushrooms on the inside of the handle of the press. We're also going to be using this press, and this is what we will use to make a waffle, a strawberry, a little pat of butter, a blueberry. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think there's anything else in that press. And then this press, is to make, can you guess what that is from the shape? It's to make a slice of bread. Okay, so that's it. We have a rolling pin, a little knife, a spatula and a plate and a fork. So this and our Play-Doh is all that we need. Let's start by using some brown Play-Doh to make a waffle. So we're gonna press this into one side of the waffle press. Press these two together, and I think I'm gonna need to add more Play-Doh. Yes, definitely. Okay, let's try that again. I'm make sure that you have enough Play-Doh in it so that you get the texture from the mold. We take a look and see what we've got. Here we go. Look at that, looks like a perfectly formed waffle. Here is our waffle out of the press. I'm just kind of pushing the sides down to smooth it out. Did any of you have waffles for breakfast yesterday on Christmas morning? I actually made French toast, <laughs> which is kind of similar to a waffle. Okay, so this is Wendy waffle. No, I'm wrong. This is waffle Sue. <laughs> I made that up. Maybe we'll make a Wendy waffle. But I thought we could make a Shopkins inspired character using this because it looks similar. Now waffle Sue's, if you, if you look closely, her lines go diagonally. And our waffle, the lines go vertically and horizontally. So they go across and up and down. So I thought maybe we could do something kind of similar to that, and that would be fun. And I also want to make an egg, and I wanna show you guys a little trick. So, you know, I use Play-Doh a lot, and I like to reuse it. Sometimes it gets dry. So I have this little spray bottle that has a very fine mist on it, and I just spray my Play-Doh with water sometimes to keep it not quite as good as brand new, but but pretty close. So let's see, we also need some yellow for our yolk. So we're gonna make an egg. Ooh, that yellow popped right out at me. <laughs> so we're gonna press the yellow down into the middle and I'm gonna cut off some of the excess just to make it really neat, nice and tidy with really clean lines. I think, maybe, maybe this isn't gonna look any better. <laughs> maybe I should, instead of cutting it, I should be pressing it in. Let's see. I think that looks a little better. We'll scrape those Play-Doh pieces out, press that down, and then we're gonna take the white Play-Doh and press that over the top of it. As you can see, I have way too much white Play-Doh, but that's okay. We'll just pull off the extra. And when we press it down, it will cut off the excess white Play-Doh anyway. Okay, so now we'll clean up some of this yellow to get that out of the way and see what we have here. Oh, just as I had suspected, we have way too much yellow. So let's do this. Let's pull off the excess. And then we're gonna press it back down in the egg mold one more time. See if we can make that look a little better. Okay, so we have to line it up 
so that it fits. And we'll do it again. Let's see what it looks like this time. There, that's much better. So now we have our egg and we have our waffle and maybe we could make a couple of blueberries and a strawberry. So we'll use these two molds right here. Okay, so here is my little strawberry and see this green at the top? Let me show you how I did that. Right at the top of the strawberry on the mold is a little part for the leaf. So I just press that in and that is what that looks like. So next we'll make a blueberry. Okay, I'm going to place a tiny little piece of green Play-Doh up at the top with a little stem and then some blue and this will form our little blueberry. There it is. <laughs> That's really cute, isn't it? Now, earlier in the video, I said that I was going to make a couple of different pieces of fruit can't remember if, it's, if I said I was gonna make a couple of strawberries and a blueberry or a couple of blueberries and a strawberry, but I changed my mind about that because those are so little, they'll be really hard to make um, into Shopkins characters. So instead, I'm going to make a slice of bread. So I'm using the dark colored, well, it's actually the light colored brown, but it's, it's darker than white. <laughs> and I'm using that as the crust and then I've got some white Play-Doh and I'm gonna press that in the middle and this will be the bread. The non-crust part of the bread anyway. Okay, so I think we're all ready here. See how this turns out. See if it really looks like a real piece of bread. Hmm, kind of. <laughs> Looks a little strange, doesn't it? Maybe we'll, let's try that again. I think, I don't love this. I don't love the way this looks. So let's try something different. So I took a tiny little amount of that Play-Doh and just kind of pressed it around the edges. And I'm hoping that will look a little better. My trusty water bottle just tipped over. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna press that in. And then we'll press down here and see what happens. Hopefully this time it looks like, oh no, now it didn't even stick. Oh, I think I need more white Play-Doh. I finally got it out of the mold and I don't know why it was stuck in there, but I plopped it out and it doesn't look great on this side, but on this side, it looks really good, doesn't it? I think that looks a lot like a piece of toast. So now, are you ready to turn these into some Shopkins-inspired characters? I think we'll start with our waffle, and we are gonna call this one Wendy Waffle. So, got two little pieces of brown Play-Doh, and we're just gonna press those on the bottom of Wendy for feet, so she can stand up. I grabbed some dark brown Play-Doh. I'm gonna put her back there a little bit. And for this, I'm just gonna smash it out, kind of press it on top of her head. And this is going to be like pancake or waffle syrup, maple syrup. <laughs> kind of looks like hair, doesn't it? Oh, Wendy, stand up. Next, we're going to make some eyes, and I'm just going to use the lid of a marker to cut out some eyes. <laughs> Uh-oh, there we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing using black. And here's what we have so far. So the trick with their eyes is to make sure that you leave some of the white space showing. And then we just need to use a tiny little bit of white to make two 
little baby specks. Whoa, so tiny it slipped right out of my hand. Okay, so here is our Wendy waffle. And you know what I'm thinking after I look at her, I'm thinking I might make a little pat of butter to put right on top of the maple syrup. And then she'll be all done. I take some yellow Play-Doh, press that right into that mold. Oh, Wendy fell down again back there. See? <laughs> Poor Wendy, she must be tired today. And here is our little pat of butter. I'm gonna press that right onto the top of Wendy's head. And then, you know what? We actually, we need to make her a mouth and a nose, don't we? So I made a little yellow nose and I made a red mouth, but I actually don't like it. I think it looks really weird. So I'm not really sure what to do about a mouth for sweet little Wendy Waffle. <laughs> if I put one down here, maybe that would look a little bit better. It just looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Ah! So I think I'm gonna leave her without a mouth. You guys can leave me a comment and let me know how you feel about that. <laughs> Some of you might agree that she looks weird with it, but she looks a little weird without it too. So maybe I'll just think about it while we work on our next one. Our next character is going to be this egg, and I have an idea for this, and I want to show you. <laughs> this is Bert from Sesame Street, and I was thinking that we could make an egg Bert, so kind of a Bert-inspired character. <laughs> so this will be interesting. So the first thing that we have to do is make Bert's hair. And he has just kind of that crazy tuft of hair, sticking out of the top of his head. So we're gonna press some black Play-Doh on the back of our egg and make his hair. And the next thing we're gonna do is make his eyebrow. He just has one eyebrow over his eyes, <laughs> which is also called a unibrow. So we're gonna make that. So I want you guys to see how I did this. I took my Play-Doh knife and just chopped up his hair so it looked kind of textured. And next we're going to make his eyes. And we need a little bit of the reddish orange Play-Doh for his nose. <laughs> he kind of looks like a bird. And then Bert's mouth is just a straight line, like that. So here we have Egbert. <laughs> okay, for our last little character, we are going to turn this plain piece of bread into jammy, a little character. So it will be bread with jam. So I am using purple Play-Doh and I'm going to spread it out into a thin piece of Play-Doh and then I'm going to cut out kind of a, I don't know, like a splatter of jam as if somebody spread jam out on a piece of bread. Here we go. <laughs> so here is our jam that down on our bread. We can even spread it out. And next we'll make some eyes. So the trick with the eyes is when you make the black part you want to make sure you cut some of it off to leave some of the white exposed. So now we can place these on jammy. And you also wanna make sure that you add a little tiny white piece on the center or wherever you want really of the black part. And I just put a tiny little ball of the purple Play-Doh for Jamie's nose and I'm gonna draw on a little smiley face. <laughs> ah, she turned out cute. Okay, so I just put two little pieces of purple Play-Doh 
on the bottom of jammy and press those into her and here she is. If you enjoyed watching me make these Shopkins inspired characters, you can click on the like button to let me know and make sure you leave me a comment and tell me who your favorite one was. Mine was Jammy. For more fun videos like this, check out the rest of our channel. And if you haven't yet, we hope you'll subscribe. This is Amy Jo with DCTC. Thanks for watching.